Hey everybody, this is Alpha Zara at your service. I'm gonna do a review on a new episode of Kisiju Sei no Kakaritsu, in other words, Parasite the Maximum, which is episode 16, I believe. Let me take a look real quick. Um, let me have a looky looky. Yep, just about it. Okay, this episode right here was actually one of the surprising moments with its information here and there. And that ending right there became a little like a crazy cliff hanging for me, you know? So if anything else, I'd like to get started right away. Um, at the beginning, of course, well, not yet anyway, but at the beginning we see to it that the detective who's been working with Shinichi for a bit, his family just got slaughtered, like, his wife and child, dude, I was, the moment I saw the blood, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just wrong. But, we realized, I realized it was actually the two parasites who was sent to kill the detective, did all that, and I go like, oh my gosh. Gosh, dude, this is not cool. Not, not cool. And another scene shows up where, um, where we have a fight with Shinichi, you know? Except this time when they fought the guy with the guy with the three par with three parasites, it became a little wreck here and there. Miki did a tried doing tried doing a good strategic battle. However, that did not come out so well. <laughs> Because they cut off the head, however, it figures out like this guy can unify them all, and it's actually five parasites instead of three. And I go like, what the heck, are you serious? And that battle lasted a little long, and Shinichi and Miggy would have got wrecked really badly if it weren't, um, if it, if it weren't for the, if it weren't for the fact that Miggy went on the truck and then managed to pulverize them off, you know? And... There was a scene about the detective, about the detective's family being killed, you know, and he was being interrogated. And later, the, the and later there was another scene about the parasites meeting, and she and Reiko, the one that's a the infected parasite teacher, tells tells him like tells him like, yo, this yo, you just failed right away. You killed his family, but left the father alive. That's just not cool, you know. And later on, things just got a little hectic around here and there. One, the parasites are very reluctant about trusting Reiko now, the infected parasite teacher. Well, she was a former teacher. And Shinichi's on the run trying to take on the parasite, you know. And Shinichi warns his father to get out of there because it's a monster that killed mom is going to kill him. And therefore he leaves. Mur Murano is given Shinichi's backpack and she wants to return it. However, she's not, he's not home. And this could be very... And this scared the heck out of me because... If she comes out, comes home often, she's gonna get killed eventually, and so forth. And she might find out his secret, etc. I just go like, oh man, this is not looking well. And of course, like, um, <laughs> I didn't expect them to show the scene where the baby's feeding on the mama's breast or something. Well, they infect the parasite's breast, and one of the parasites sit, looks like he can't trust Rachel, and she, and he thinks she's like a threat, and therefore he. And it ends with like um, Reiko Ray to do battle with three of the parasites, but not before we have a detective on the loose stalking her, you know, because he wants to avenge his family. He thinks that she did it. Well, I think she's the one that planned it, but she didn't. I don't think she means to kill his family, though. I don't know, but yeah. In other words, like this is pretty much like a crazy episode, but I don't know what to expect. But next up, next week's episode might bring up some crazy stuff that I might be surprised about. Who knows? But if anything else, I am gonna end my I'm gonna end it here people. Expect my next video to come up in about like um thirty to sixty minutes at most. So please be patient. I'm off of zero. Have a good day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later. Peace out. Bye bye.